join us for the flag, pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our alma mater. Good evening. Papers flying already. So I, I really like the cool weather that we're having here in July. It's been pretty nice. But hey, the reason why we're here are to celebrate the, the graduates in the stands here. But before we get to that, just a couple housekeeping things I want to discuss with you. So um, if you're new to our facility, the bathrooms are behind the bleachers. They are open. Um, I certainly expect lots of people to be taking pictures. Uh, you're certainly able to get up and move uh, to take a picture if you want to do that. I kind of ask that you stay off the track, but you can uh, certainly move around. If you're moving around, I just would ask that you would wear a mask. Um, also, afterwards, um, feel free to uh, mingle uh, and talk. Uh, there's a backdrop in the back for pictures. Pictures Plus is here for other pictures as well. So, without further ado, uh, welcome class of 2020 to your graduation. Welcome to family and friends. Thank you so much for joining us. This ceremony is all about celebrating the people in the bleachers, the seniors. So I would say congrats on all your accomplishments. It's been a wandering journey to arrive at this point, but here we are. And really, without further ado, I would like to introduce the first speaker uh, for the five o'clock ceremony, who is the class valedictorian, Zoe Klein. family and friends. I'm truly thankful that we were able to come together today as a community and as a class to celebrate all of us and our achievements. While I am disheartened that we cannot be here as a full class, I am grateful that we are able to have this recognition because we deserve it. Each and every one of us has put in the time and effort into earning a spot on the stage, or should I say bleachers. I would like to thank all of my teachers and mentors for always believing in me and pushing me to do my best. The countless hours you have spent with me going over essays, explaining concepts, and simply lending words of advice will always be remembered and appreciated. A big thank you goes out to Senora Phillips and Frau Klein for stepping up to be our class advisors. They are the ones who made today possible and have contributed so much time and effort into ensuring the success of our class. To my parents and family, I would not be the person I am today without your guidance and support. Thank you for always helping me get back up when I am down and always being my biggest fans. And to my friends, thank you for always being kind and patient. High school would not have been the same without you all. At our freshman orientation, just before high school started, I remember Mr. McDowell saying, these years will fly by in an instant, and soon you will all be graduating. Of course, no one believed him. These were going to be the longest four years of our lives. 
We just want to graduate already, experience the real world, be independent. And I think some of us, if it is even possible, already had senioritis. But here we are today, about to graduate. Looking back at high school, Mr. McDowell was right. These past four years truly flew by. I remember watching the clock every day, counting down the minutes till the bell rang at 2.44 p.m. But now, thinking back, all of these days seem little and insignificant. These days were just little fragments of a bigger picture, that being our four years at Fairfield High. Even at our little school in Fairfield, we have all experienced so much. We have been tenacious and resilient through it all. We survived the mold, the loud, disruptive dehumidifiers in the classroom. And now we will survive this global pandemic. Quarantine has shown me how creative and dedicated our class can be. We persevered through online classes and found new ways to express ourselves. Whether it's through music, building, painting, dancing, and many other hobbies I've seen my classmates pick up, we have all been discovering more about ourselves and evading boredom. Quarantine has given me the much needed time to slow down and reflect. Oftentimes we get caught up in the daily flow of things, so we forget to appreciate the life around us. Before quarantine, I cannot tell you the last time I sat outside in the sun and did absolutely nothing. Before, it was always school, sports, work. Relaxation was something that I yearned for, and I'm sure all my peers can relate to some part of that. These times have been extremely challenging and frustrating, but I think that you can always find the good within the bad. Now we are all heading in different directions, whether that is across the country or just down the street. Our class will be represented in so many new places. We have Fairfield students that will be represented in over 15 states, and one student will be representing Fairfield in a different country. Even though we are a small school, our students are and will continue to travel all over the world. We have two students that indicate that they will be enlisting in the Army, three students going to the National Guard, one student going to the Marines, and one student going to the Navy. We also have students that are going out to pursue careers as firefighters and EMTs. We have a vast range of college majors, ranging from art therapy all the way to applied physics. And we have eight students that are continuing their sporting careers in college. It has been wonderful getting to know all of you throughout my time here in Fairfield. I know you all are going to accomplish so much and go so far in life. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. I would like to leave my class with this, a quote by Paulo Coelho from the novel The Alchemist. Everyone seems to have a clear idea of how other people should lead their lives, but none about his or her own. I would like you all to reflect on your goals and wants in life and what steps you are taking to achieve them. I would like you to reflect on your expectations of others and what you are giving to your relationships. I think that it is important to reflect so that we can better ourselves in the world around us. My hope for our class, now and in the future, when we deal with change, that we always embrace it with an open mind and a full heart. Thank you. Zoe. Thank you, Zoe. I'm Dr. Jim Hammett, and I've been given the honor of addressing you to the class of 2020. You have to know that I also did this in 1969 as salutatorian for the class of 69 here at Fairfield High School. Hey, you guys are my heroes. Uh, no undergraduating Fairfield class has been asked to endure the challenges created by the current pandemic. No other Fairfield class uh, has been asked to complete their studies in the virtual classroom. We didn't even know what that was when I was your age. And you had to forego the companionship of gathering together with your friends and teachers too. I was really heartened uh, to witness your senior class parade uh, and join in in on some of the uh, revelry and celebration myself. Your vehicles and decorations and horn blown reminded me so much of my own graduation and senior year. This year we had all hoped to join in on the traditional pomp and circumstance around it, uh, surrounding your particular ceremony. Unfortunately due to the circumstances you know, we will not have much pomp so, as you can tell, I'm a guy that likes to make smart comments, and my wife will tell you I am a smarty pants. The motto of the Fairfield High School class of 1969 was, success is a journey, not a destination, 
and we thought we were so clever in saying that. Uh, in my studies to try to come up with comical and clever things to say, I came across a statement that said, life is a journey, not a destination. And it is in fact a journey that requires continuous growth as, and elevation. We're so proud of you. And we're excited to share in this your victorious moment. Now, remember as you move forward, here's one of those co comments. Uh, in order to accomplish what you never have had, you must do something you have never done. And I couldn't find the guy that wrote that, but I thought that was kind of clever. In the process, I also learned that Ben Franklin once said, we are all born ignorant, but one must work hard to remain stupid. Another quote that I liked a lot is that, Cherish your education as if it was the last Oreo in the bag. And I'm an Oreo fan, so. Now in closing, and I'm sure you've probably heard enough of an old fella, uh, congratulations to all of you, the Fairfield class of 2020. Uh, I'm really excited to be able to witness how you guys shape and create a new reality for all of us. You are my heroes. So, Mr. Adamak and Mrs. Van Meter, on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I certify that the students of the Fairfield Area High School Class of 2020 has met the requirements for graduation and now are eligible to receive their diplomas. Haley Taylor Balderson. Haley will be attending Gallaudet University, majoring in American Sign Language Interpreting. majoring in culinary arts. Jasmine Marie Grams. Jasmine will be attending Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City, majoring in Fashion Business Management. You're welcome, thank you. 
Madison Rose Holmberg. Matthew Paul Hummel. Matt will be entering the United States Navy as an electric or, excuse me, electrical technician and is shipping out at the end of August 2020. After the Navy, he plans to attend Penn State University majoring in architecture. Jacob Michael Jones. Jacob will be entering the United States Army in Civil Affairs. Ryan Matthew Kelly. Ryan will be taking a back here. Zoe Jane Klein. Zoe will be attending the University of Pennsylvania, majoring in biochemistry. Braden David Merriman. Braden will be entering the workforce and attending online classes at Harrisburg Area Community College. education. Alexis. 
Mrs. Rosenberry. Kirsten Dawn Wink. Kirsten will be entering the workforce, working with animals, and pursuing a career in counseling. Leonidas Nicholas Sagaris. Leo will be attending Harris State Area Community College, major undecided. Cash Brothers Nightingale. Cash will be entering the Army in the Infantry on July 28th. Superintendent uh, Michael Adamak, myself the high school principal, uh, I certainly say congratulations amidst all this craziness. Uh, thank you for hanging in there, thank you for being patient, uh, thank you for doing your part. And, and finally, I'm understanding you're going to uh, honor the country by serving, so uh, thank you in advance for your service as well. So before me I have uh, your diploma. Uh, with. Uh, it already in there, so I'm going to present that to you and say congratulations, sir. Thank you. Job well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations to the class of 2020 of Fairfield Area High School. toward the flag near the scoreboard at the end of the field and join us for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, 
one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our alma mater, performed by our Fairfield High School Concert Choir. You may be seated. Good evening and thank you for joining us for the graduation of this group of uh, graduates from the class of 2020. Just a couple of things before we uh, start. Uh, if you haven't been in the facility before, bathrooms are located behind the bleachers. Pictures, I'm sure lots of pictures will uh, want to be taken and that's more than fine. During the ceremony, if you move around, uh, you're certainly willing to do that. If you please put on a mask to take pictures when they graduate, that's more than fine. Um, after the ceremony, you certainly can take pictures wherever you would like. There's a nice wooden uh, class of 2020 emblem that was the class is donating to the school as the class gift. Um, people in the first session were taking lots of pictures around there as well. So, welcome class of 2020, family and friends. This ceremony is all about celebrating you guys the seniors. Congrats on all your accomplishments. It has been a wandering journey to arrive at this point, but here we are. And really, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Haley Wagner, who is the class salutatorium. She's here to give the speech for this class. Thank you. Today I have been given the opportunity to give this speech as salutatorian of Fairfield High School's class of 2020. The class of 2020 may have become the class to graduate under unforeseen circumstances, but before all of that, we were always the class that teachers had to be warned about. We were that class, the one that seemed to never get better, the one that was always described as, you know, unique. But look at us now, we're done with high school. Hypothetically, we've been done for about a month or two, but that's not important. What is important is the fact that we actually made it. It just took 13 years, a really stressful election, and a pandemic, but we made it. It took a lot to get us to this point. It took effort from every single one of us, and look where it got us. One by one, we are all seated as the class of 2020, graduating together. All of our efforts have paid off, and we're finally able to step away feeling successful. I know personally, over the four years of being here, I've learned to express caution when pushing my limits. I feel like you go into high school with this feeling that you're almost invulnerable to anything, but that isn't true. Growing up, you learn what beats you down and what makes you stand back up again. We've learned when to keep going and when it was okay to take a break. I'm not saying that the theme of the Scarlet Ibis wasn't the most important thing I've learned, but I am saying that sometimes it's not just the homework that we need to learn from in high school. 
I know that in four years of high school, I've learned so much about my own strengths and my own weaknesses. I know that every single one of us went through our own challenges and struggles to get to this point today. We've changed from our eighth grade selves, and that's a fact. I know I used to be one of the most introverted people in this school, but recently I've actually been described as outgoing, and I was a little weirded out at first. However, it's with moments like these that I realize just how much I've changed. And I think it's important to acknowledge that every now and again. Maybe your hobbies have changed, or maybe you've had to change a key component of your lifestyle, but that's okay. Without change, we'd never be able to understand who we are. Of course, we have our wonderful families and teachers to thank for helping us get this far. I know one thing about Fairfield is how close-knit everyone seems to be. Now, whether you see that as a good thing or not is up to you. However, I feel that it really does create a unique experience here at Fairfield High School with both our peers and some amazing teachers. Walking the halls of the school, you always knew you were surrounded by teachers who were there for you every step of the way. I will always treasure the small moments we had in class, from listening to Mr. Ball quote an entire conversation from the office, to him telling us the life-changing advice of, the tie doesn't make you look good, you make the tie look good. To this day, Ali Yordi and I know we can happily hold the title of his best worst students. <laughs> I feel like my AP English class, as short as it was this semester, had a large impact on my senior year. Thank you for listening to me argue with Greg Guype as I defended Lady Macbeth and tore apart just about every character from Wuthering Heights. I'll never forget the recurring topic that appeared in that class and seemed to haunt the hallways of the entire school. It was Greg's wonderful argument of whether art was done for passion rather than money. I had to tell him that, as an art major, I'm not expecting enough Bezos for his truly nurse. While at the time there may have been a lot of negative responses to this debate, it managed to bring our class together in the strangest way. These quotes and class discussions show the value of holding on to the little things in life. These memories are the kind that happen unplanned. They can occur nearly every day, and it may be weeks later until you realize their significance. However, what matters is that we are all able to leave high school with these small memories that last a lifetime. When it comes to thanking people who have left a mark on our lives, it would be foolish not to mention our class advisors. Senora Phillips and Frau Klein are two of the best advisors we could ever have asked for. We were originally a class struggling to find advisors, but these two took us under their wing and helped us down our path. We could never have stayed so determined to help our class flourish without them, so we all owe them the biggest thanks possible. As mentioned before, aside from this quarantine, we have all had to overcome many obstacles throughout these years. While our struggles all differ from one another, I think we can all agree that the support from our friends and family have helped us get this far. As students trying to build a successful future, we have the tendency to raise our expectations for ourselves above our natural threshold. That is why I'll always be thankful for my parents' never-ending support and guidance as they help me grow to be proud of the life I live. Thank you to my older brother, Caleb, for always making me laugh and checking up on me when I needed it most. And of course, I also have my sister, Morgan, to thank for being my best friend who is constantly by my side, and for also taking the time to help me in chemistry, even when I call her at 10 p.m. asking for help. Each and every one of us are moving on to new parts of our lives practically blind. We don't know the decisions we'll have to make in the future, and we certainly don't know the results of our actions. However, we all have potential inside each and every one of us. Sometimes we don't always see that potential, but as long as we lead ourselves into a positive life, it will shine through for everyone you meet. As we all set out into the great unknown, I'd like to end this speech with a piece of advice that would be beneficial, no matter where your life will lead. In the great words of Dwight Schrute, Whenever you're about to do something, think, would an idiot do that? And if they would, do not do that thing. Thank you for your time, and congratulations to our class of 2020.
Mr. Adamak and Mr. Van Meter, on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I certify the students from the Fairfield Area High School class of 2020 have met the requirements for graduation and are now eligible to receive their diplomas. with a second major of secondary education. Certification. Cameron Muse. Cam will be 
doing OSHA training and after certification, will be working at Site R in building trade contracting. Lane Hunter Sanders. Lane will be entering the workforce working in pipe fitting. Christopher James Schaefer. Chris will be attending Kent State University, majoring in Aeronautical Systems Engineering. Wyatt Garrison James Shorp. Wyatt will be entering the workforce working as a heavy truck diesel mechanic for David H. Martin Excavating. Catherine Grace Schreiner. Katie will be attending Penn State Altoona, majoring in psychology. Lillian Jane Smith. Lily will be attending Penn State Monalto, majoring in nursing with a minor in psychology. Garrett William Stadler. Garrett will be attending Piedmont College, majoring in Applied Physics. Brianna Raylan. Starlipper. We will be attending Harrisburg Area Community College for associate's degree, then transferring to Messiah University to obtain her bachelor's degree in elementary education. Haley Rose Wagner. Haley will be attending Millersville University, majoring in interactive and graphic design. Bella Rain Walston. Bella will be attending McDaniel College, major undecided.
Christopher Scott Walter. Christopher will be pursuing a career as a professional firefighter. John William Whitcomb. John will be attending IUP, majoring in exercise science, sport, and physical education. He will be entering the United States Marine Corps after college. Jeremy Kitchell Whitmore. Jeremy will be attending Harrisburg Area Community College, majoring in elementary education. Colby Leo Bible. Colby will be entering the workforce working as a firefighter EMT. Makina Patricia Wolf. Makina will be attending Wingate University, majoring in communication. Olivia Ryan Yordi. Ali will be attending Wilkes University, major undecided. Youngkins. Kylie will be entering the workforce working in dentistry. Lucas Ryan Mort. Lucas will be attending Shippensburg University majoring in business management. He will also be entering the United States Army National Guard in culinary specialty. Uh, we certainly have appreciated all of the contributions that you've given to the school, your time, your effort all the things that you've been involved in, engaged in at the high school, we appreciate all those things, we really do. Uh, like all the seniors, yeah, you'll be missed. We always miss leadership when it leaves. Uh, this is your diploma. You're one of the few people that actually gets the diploma in the diploma cover, but there it is, that's for you. That's uh, uh, the final thing that you wanna have in your pocket. So there it is, congratulations, Thanks. Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to our Fairfield Area School District Class of 2020 graduates.
attention toward the flag near the scoreboard at the end of the field and join us for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our alma mater performed by our Fairfield High School Concert Choir. You may be seated. Good evening and thank you for joining us for the class of 2020 graduation. Just a couple housekeeping items to take out real quick. Uh, if you haven't been in the facilities before, bathrooms are located behind the bleachers. I'm sure lots of pictures will be taken, and that is great. Um, if you're moving around, I just ask that you wear a mask. Uh, afterwards, certainly more pictures. The, the wooden plaque that the class of 2020 is uh, giving to the school as the class gift is down here, and lots of pictures seem to have been taken there. So without uh, any further ado here, Welcome to the class of 2020 graduation. Welcome family, friends. This ceremony is all about you, celebrating you, the seniors of the class of 2020. Congrats on all your accomplishments. It certainly has been a wandering journey for us all, including you. But we have arrived at this point, and we are here to celebrate you tonight. So. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce the class president, Zachary Sherman. He will give the speech tonight. Good evening, students, family, high school faculty, and friends. I would like to welcome you to the final group of students that will be graduating tonight. Thank you all for coming out to witness such a unique yet valuable moment in all of our lives. Before I begin, I would like to address a topic that is surely on everybody's minds, triumph over adversity. I have never been a big fan of quotes, which is just a weird preference when I'm public speaking, I guess. But looking upon one of my favorite historical figures, I realized that perhaps a quote would be acceptable maybe just this one time. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and philosopher of Stoicism, once that said that a blazing fire makes flame and brightness out of everything that is thrown into it. Many events have certainly tested the will of our nation before, but as Marcus Aurelius implied, courage is only obtained through hardship. As tragedy strikes, we are given the opportunity to become stronger and unite hand in hand. Our generation was quick to realize this the day school ended all the way back on March 13th, which was 140 days ago. We came together as a class of 2020 and helped each other through this, through this traumatic experience. Many families have been affected in this pandemic, yet here we stand united as a community. And as communities like us unite, we unite as a county, a state, and as a nation. To demonstrate our solidarity, I ask you to please join me in a moment of silence to honor both the lives lost from the coronavirus pandemic, as well as the frontline workers sacrificing their lives to ensure our health and well-being. Thank you. Before I dive in, I'd like to give some words of thanks. 
Senor Phillips and Frau Klein, you have shown great determination in striving to give the class of 2020 the best high school experience we could imagine. Your positivity, creative ideas, and constant effort are what brought us all here tonight. So I know I speak on behalf of all of my peers when I say thank you both. Mom and Dad, you two have been the light in my darkness. Through thick and thin, you have always had my back and have had faith that I would come to achieve great things. Thank you. Last but not least, thank you to all my teachers, mentors, and coaches. When I look into the eyes of every student graduating tonight, I see mature young men and women ready to take on the world because of the lessons and virtues that you all instilled in us. Whether it was trying to teach a vital math concept over and over again, encouraging teamwork on the field, or inspiring us to speak from the heart in a classroom debate, we as a class will remember you and the tremendous effort that has sculpted us into who we are today. As I give this speech, memories flood back from childhood friendships to inside jokes and laughter reverberating through the hallways. I see anxious yet determined minds in a classroom before a final exam. I see members of a club working tirelessly to complete a fundraising project. And I see friends that I've been able to count on during such important years in my life. Most importantly though, I see the future of our world. I see teachers, lawyers, farmers, great minds destined for success. Whether you enter the workforce, enlist in our nation's military, or pursue a post-secondary education, I know that all of us will succeed in the endeavors that we take on. Back when I very anxiously gave my interview for National Honor Society three years ago, I stated that I believed leadership was the most important pillar. I want to retract that statement. Sorry, Mrs. Phelps. I have talked to you about courage and success tonight, but I'm forgetting what really defines our class, character. Character is what I believe is the most important pillar. Above all else, the demonstration of respect, responsibility, and kindness within my peers is what I will miss the most about high school. Hear me out though, it wasn't only the grand gestures that people displayed. The simple yet memorable actions of my fellow students are the ones that I will take with me as I leave this town. Ultimately, these showed me that building character starts with simply holding a door open, being honest with the people around you, learning to love yourself and others, or being that shoulder for a friend to cry on. So when I promise success within our class of 2020, I also ensure that we have the character to traverse this weird experience we all call life. There was no doubt in my mind that the flame mentioned in Marcus Aurelius's quote has ignited in all of our hearts. As these uncertain times have put our very lives into perspective, we've learned how important love, respect, success, and happiness really is. My fellow graduates, good luck on your pathway. Thank you. Mr. Adamak and Mrs. Van Meter, on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I certify that the students of the Fairfield Area High School Class of 2020 have met the requirements for graduation and are now eligible to receive their diplomas. Robert Tarosa Bennett. Robert will be attending Penn State Monalto, major undecided at this time. Madison Ann Blondin. Maddie will be entering the United States Army Reserves in Military Police, shipping out September 1st.
Jasmine Snow Brent. Jasmine will be entering the workforce and continuing her education through Harrisburg Area Community College. Gabrielle Savannah Bruner King. Gabby will be attending Pennsylvania State University, majoring in computer science. Brett Marshall Cleveland. Brett will be entering the workforce working in landscaping and real estate. Brent Michael Hamilton. Brent will be attending Penn State University majoring in chemistry or mathematics. Aubrey Elizabeth Harrison. Aubrey will be entering the workforce. Amelia Marie Heinball. Millie will be attending Elon University, majoring in chemistry, while running D1 track and field for Elon as well. Elijah Jacob Jarrus. Elijah will be attending Kunsttown University, majoring in political science. Jocelyn Pearl McGee. Jocelyn will be attending Harrisburg Area Community College for General Studies, then transferring to Wilson College for the Veter Veterinary Technician Program. Christopher James Moore. CJ will be entering the workforce working in machining and gunsmithing. Owen Christopher Myers. Owen will be attending Slippery Rock University, majoring in secondary education mathematics.
Randy Leah Myers. Randy will be entering the workforce in food services. Harrisburg Area Community College and then transferring to Slippery Rock University, majoring in sports management. <laughs> Stephen James Ritter. Stephen will be entering the workforce working in informational technology. Jenna Marie Souter. Jenna will be attending Harrisburg Area Community College, majoring in business, while continuing to work as a team supervisor at Panera Bread. Zachary John Sherman. Zach will be attending the University of Vermont, majoring in business administration. Dasani Ayana Dolores Shields. Dasani will be attending Goucher College, majoring in international studies, playing Division Three field hockey. Shaley Nicole. Shelly will be attending Hegastown Community College, majoring in graphic design. Aaron Michelle Stevens. Aaron will be attending Bridgewater College, majoring in biology in 2021. She is taking a gap year. Rio Grace Strosnyder. Rio will be attending Robert Morris University, majoring in biomedical engineering.
Dennis Michael Turner. Dennis will be entering into forestry and youth ministry. Haley Wassler. Haley will be attending cosmetology school. Nathan Scott Willard. Nathan will be entering the workforce working in the electronics and RF field for defense application with plans to take classes in computer and networking systems administration in 2021. Eli Robert White. Eli will be attending Coastal Carolina University, majoring in statistics. All right, you can stay right, right here. So, so we're we're here to uh, celebrate uh, Eli White. He is uh, graduating from the Fairfield Area High School today. Um, Eli, on behalf of the school district. Um, the superintendent, Michael Adamak, and myself, the high school principal. Uh, I'm honored to uh, give you your diploma today um, as a graduate of the Fairfield High School. Um, I'm hopeful that you take uh, some of Fairfield with you wherever you go. I know you probably have big plans to do lots of things, and we certainly support that. Um, we encourage you at some point to come back and engage with the community if you're willing to do that, and certainly engage with us. But on behalf of the school district, here is your diploma from the Fairfoot Area High School. Uh, congratulations, sir. Thank you. Congratulations to our Fairfield Area School District Class of 2020 graduates. Thank you everyone for attending this evening's ceremony with our graduates. At this time the ceremony has concluded and you are free to move about uh, the stadium, take pictures, whatnot.